first of all, my prayers and my thoughts go out to you, Tessica, because however you got yourself into the situation, whatever you're going through, it seems like it's a lot. The professional in me in this instance will not allow me to even see humor in this just because of the sheer amount of damage that could be done to her skin, her hair, or her health in general. Why did she think this was okay? I don't know, but I guess desperate times call for desperate measures. It's the fact that it was in her hair for a month. I'm like, girl, girl, what are we doing? Tessica Brown goes viral for a mistake she made, but after dealing with that absolute nightmare, she is now thankful it might have saved her life. Before I get into the story, I just want to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to Tessica Brown or anyone else involved in this story. This video is simply meant to report on the news. On February 3rd, Tessica Brown, a 40-year-old woman from Louisiana, uploaded a TikTok to her account showing her hair after using Gorilla Glue as a replacement for hairspray. In the TikTok, she showed how her hair was tightly secured against her head. It was unmovable. My hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not a choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with a little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Y'all, look. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times and it don't move. Stiff wear. Whoa. My hair. So I'm going to tell y'all like this. If you ever, ever run out of got to be glue spray, don't ever, ever use this. People were confused as to why she used Gorilla Glue as hairspray. Girl, why would you do that? No! Baby, please, how did you think Gorilla Glue? Ma'am, why would you do that? Some people tried to reassure Tessica. At least it's stuck looking good. At least you on fleek 24-7. I mean, at least you don't have to do your hair all the time. On February 4th, Tessica uploaded another video showing herself applying hair products to try to wash out the glue. However, the product didn't seem to work, leaving Tessica frustrated frustrated and close to tears. Watch, watch, look, look, y'all, look, look, you wipe it off and nothing happens. Like, this is the life that I'm living at this point. Like, this is the life that I guess I'm gonna have to live. <laughs> yeah. Look, 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 look. look. Some commenters offered ideas on how to unstick her hair. Soak your head in alcohol and water. It should start to loosen up. It'll make your hair dry as hell, but I'd rather have dry hair than glued hair. So I'm hoping you'll see this. I looked it up and it says to spray the hair with 25% rubbing alcohol and 75% water in a spray bottle. Later that same day, Tessica uploaded a TikTok showing off how many views her original video had received along with a message for her followers. Thanks for you guys encouraging words and ideas to get rid of this forever ponytail. I will try some today when I get off from work and I will keep you guys posted. By the way, if you see me walking around with a headscarf or head, just mind your business, lol. The TikTok was followed by an Instagram post with the same message. On February 5th, Tessica uploaded a TikTok to her Instagram page from dermatologist Dr. Dustin Portella reacting to her original video. I feel absolutely awful for this person. She made the decision to use Gorilla Glue spray in her hair instead of hairspray because she was out thinking maybe it would last just a little bit longer and she'd still be able to wash it out. But Gorilla Glue spray is incredibly durable and doesn't wash out easily. So what would you do according to a dermatologist? The first thing that you can do is use acetone. Acetone can help to break the bonds of the glue. Acetone is safe to put on the skin. It can be irritating, it can be drying, but trying to break down those bonds. I would go to a professional hair salon and let them help you apply the acetone and work it through the hair. You probably still wanna see a dermatologist just in case you're getting any irritation on the scalp after all of these treatments. There's another product called Goo Gone. That one is not necessarily safe to use on the skin, but if the acetone doesn't work sufficiently, I would go ahead and give that a try. Try to keep it in the hair only and then see a dermatologist to take care of any irritation on the scalp.
Tessica uploaded another video to her TikTok later that day. The video was a still image of writing which read, Okay, so I'm about to go to bed. I put coconut and tea tree oil on it and put a plastic on it. I'll update you guys tomorrow. Thanks again for the advice. Keep it coming. Something has to work. Good night, everybody. Epic fail. Help me, please. Many people try to offer advice. Break the hair open with a fork, then soak it in olive oil. Or get a baby medicine syringe and inject the oil toward the root and let it soak. Hey love, I'm a registered nurse, and we have removed this glue from hair by applying alcohol on the hair. Don't pour it on your head though. On February 6th, Tessica uploaded a TikTok of her in the ER at St. Bernard Parish Hospital, followed by a short clip of a friend applying substances from the ER to her hair in an attempt to unstick her hair. Tessica also shared an Instagram photo of herself laying on a hospital bed with a nurse tending to her. People were glad to see she was getting help. So glad someone is helping. Hope it's over soon and you're okay. Your posts make me feel like I'm going through the experience with you. I hope it turns out alright. I'm praying for you. Rapper and actor Chance the Rapper tweeted about the situation. I'm glad MF's actually supporting her through this. When I watched the video the second time, it was hard to laugh because I could tell Shorty genuinely didn't know she had put one of the world's most powerful adhesives in her sh I hope she recovers well. Chance's fans shared their feelings on the situation. Some supported Tessica and understood her situation. Bliss agreed. And many people don't realize that there's a super popular edge control called Gorilla Snot, which sounds so similar to Gorilla Glue that she probably just mixed up the names while trying to buy Gorilla Snot for her edges. It's a mix-up anybody could have made. I feel for her so much. Accidents happen. This was a really bad one and she bravely shared it. That second clip got to me when she applied the shampoo demonstrating how it affected her, then she got emotional. I hope there's no permanent damage. I'm sure this is a lesson learned for her. Others criticized her, not believing the situation was genuine. Maybe if she had read the warning label on the bottle, she wouldn't be in this mess. Sorry, but I'm having a lot of trouble mustering sympathy for someone who put permanent industrial adhesive in her hair. I mean, at least it worked as advertised. She's 40 with kids, has a hairstylist that she could have asked. The glue gets everywhere, why aren't her hands stuck and on her face. She left it in for a month. After a few days, she should have known that it was stuck. Gorilla Snot doesn't have a spray, only a squeeze bottle. On February 7th, Tessica uploaded a video to her YouTube channel called Full Update Gorilla Glue Girl Official, giving viewers an update on her situation. In the video, we can see a friend of Tessica's wiping her hair with a solution. The friend said the cotton pieces she used to apply the solution were getting caught in Tessica's hair. She also mentioned they have a water soak nearby to help with Tessica's scalp pain. Her friend continued to apply the solution. Tessica showed signs of obvious discomfort, even wiping her eyes a few times with her sweater and a blanket. Her friend asked her multiple times if she's okay, but Tessica hit her face as she tried to deal with the pain. At the end of the video, Tessica can be heard crying as she tried to hide her face while also applying water to her head to soothe the pain. Commenter said Tessica had claimed the name Gorilla Glue Girl. I think it's interesting that she claims she doesn't like the name Gorilla Glue Girl and that she just Tessica, but yet the title of this video? I love the title when it says Gorilla Glue Girl. Some comments weren't very kind towards Tessica. What did you think was gonna happen putting some of the strongest glue in your scalp? We all do mistakes in our life, but this lady right here is on another level. That same day, Tessica uploaded a photo to her Instagram of the solution she was given to use. She captioned the photo with, this is really about to be a long process. The GoFundMe created by Tessica went up on February 7th, and as of the posting of this video, she has raised over $23,000. The next day, February 8th, Gorilla Glue uploaded a statement to their Twitter. We are very sorry to hear about the unfortunate incident that Miss Brown experienced using our spray adhesive on her hair. We are glad to see in her recent video that Miss Brown has received medical treatment from her local medical facility and wish her the best. On February 8th, TMZ also reported that Tessica was allegedly going to sue Gorilla Glue. According to TMZ sources, Tessica was in the ER for 22 hours and nurses tried to apply acetone to her head. However, according to TMZ, the acetone only made her scalp burn and made the glue gooey before hardening again.
TMZ sources told them Tessica had hired an attorney and was looking at her legal options against Gorilla Glue. However, this has not been confirmed. Tessica posted on her Instagram, Hey y'all, I just want to take this time right now to thank everybody that has been praying for me since day one. Half the people I don't even know. I swear on everything, I wish I could come to everybody one by one and give you a big hug. I've been trying to answer all calls, texts, and inboxes, but it's a lot. So right now, I'm sending a virtual huge to everybody. Please continue praying that I can get through this and keep my hair, lol. But for real, for real, I love and appreciate everybody. Thanks so much. A few people demanded to see pictures of her hair. I demand a pic. Anybody else notice she doesn't post many updates on her condition? Maybe she just doesn't have any answers, but like, can we get updates on the hair? Cool, celebs are giving you shoutouts. But I want to know if your hair is still fused, if you sought any more medical advice or what. Some people believed the situation wasn't real. I feel like this was all planned so she could go viral. Cause you're not gonna tell me she don't have better sense than that. No way. She's not going to update. She's making plans plans for that GoFundMe money. Girl, you know why you did that sh for clout. How old are you, common sense? I'm not buying it. People were also surprised to see Tessica now had a verified account. You got verified for gluing your scalp? It's the blue tick for me, not the hair anymore. On February 9th, Tessica was finally able to cut off her ponytail. Her friend applied Gugon to the ponytail to soften the hairs so she could cut the ponytail and give Tessica some relief. Tessica's friend said cutting off the ponytail isn't the answer to Tessica's problem, but it might help make her scalp feel a bit better. Tessica posted to Instagram later that day, showing her love for her supporters and announcing she would be seeing a surgeon about her hair. Hey y'all, I know everybody is concerned, I am receiving texts, phone calls, inboxes, etc. I'm trying to get to everybody, but for everyone that know me know me knows I'm not that person to break easily. It's just that I have people who doesn't know me judging me. But for everybody that truly has my back, I really, really appreciate it all. I will be leaving tomorrow to go see a surgeon. I will update you guys the second I have news. Again, thank you so much. According to a TMZ article, Dr. Michael Obang from Los Angeles offered to do the scalp freeing surgery for free, saving Tessica an estimated $12,500. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight on February 10th, Tessica explained when she went to the hospital for the first time, the nurses just continuously applied acetone to her head, which caused burning on her scalp. After the acetone, they tried many kinds of oils and hair care products in an attempt to loosen Tessica's hair. Tessica explained she didn't want to bring her struggles online. The reason I took it to social media is because I didn't know what else to do, and I know somebody out there could have told me something. She said she regretted posting the original TikTok. I told my son today, I wish I could just, I mean, go back, cause yeah, I'm older. I'm over it. Tessica shared an Instagram photo, however, her supporters were getting frustrated by Tessica's lack of updates and photos of her head. I feel like you're only going to tell us what's going on when you reach 1 million followers. Give us content! She followed up her post with a quick Instagram post clarifying that she would be going to LA. Prayers for traveling grace. On my way to LA to get this glue out of my head, finally. On February 11th, Tessica went in for her surgery with Dr. Obang. TMZ uploaded footage from Tessica in surgery, showing the surgeons gradually unsticking her hair. Bit by bit, they were able to unstick Tessica's hair. Once her hair was unstuck, Dr. Obang explained she would have to come back for another checkup and he would give her medicine to help with pain. TMZ also filmed Tessica checking out her newly unstuck hair. Shortly after, TMZ posted a video of Dr. Obang explaining the process of getting Tessica's hair unstuck. He explained the main component in Gorilla Glue was polyurethane, and he and his team brought in chemicals that were able to dissolve polyurethane. Dr. Obang said he called Gorilla Glue to ask about possible solutions, but never actually got to speak to them personally. Dr. Obang then demonstrated Gorilla Glue's effect on hair, showing a wig he had made of real hair that had been tangled with the glue. Dr. Obang said, This type of deal is no joke, okay? To have injury to your hair, you have stiffness that pulls your scalp, your scalp every single day. You can't sleep. And she's just showed me a photograph. She had a ponytail that was like a stick. So imagine having a stick stuck to your head and you're trying to 
sleep, the many nights that she couldn't sleep, the anxiety right before surgery. We had to give him medication just to relax. Thanks to Dr. Obang, Tessica's hair was finally glue-free. On February 12th, Tessica posted on her TikTok that she had merch for sale. The shirts featured pictures of Tessica along with a cartoon version of Tessica with a Gorilla Glue can. The shirts were labeled Bonded for Life in reference to Gorilla Glue. People had a lot to say about Tessica's merchandise. Many criticized her for trying to profit off the situation. Girl, no, we're not doing this. Just no. You have got to be kidding me. Girl, merch? How about write a book on how important reading is? We was rooting for you. Now you selling merch? How about you donate your 20k to a charity that donates wigs to chemo patients who actually lost hair? Some said they were unfollowing her now that the glue had been removed. Couldn't even come back with a TikTok update of your hair for those who were genuinely concerned and donated. It's the audacity for me. She got the glue out, we can leave now. On February 13th, Jessica announced she was going to be donating $20,000 from her GoFundMe to the Restore Foundation, a foundation for reconstructive surgery. The Restore Foundation is a non profit created by Dr. Michael Obang, the surgeon who did Tessica's surgery. Tessica also shared an Instagram post explaining the remainder of her GoFundMe money would go to some local families. With the remainder of the money, I will be blessing three local families. Thanks for all the support. Love you guys so much. Thank you. She then shared a photo with Dr. Obang with the caption, Words cannot even explain how I feel about Dr. Michael K. Obang. You really gave me my life back and I am forever grateful. Dr. Obang responded, You're amazing. Amazing. I'm glad I could be of service. On February 16th, TMZ posted an article claiming that Tessica was threatening to sue a blogger who said she was making up the drama about getting Gorilla Glue in her hair. The blogger accused Tessica of not actually spraying glue into her hair and said she was just trying to get money. Tessica's lawyer confirmed the story wasn't fabricated and Tessica had indeed sprayed Gorilla Glue on her hair. Her legal representation sent a cease and desist notice to the blogger. On February 17th, Tessica shared an Instagram photo with a new hairstyle. In the caption, she wrote, I am not my hair. Shout out to SupaD0223 over at Below Zero for my new cut. If you're comfortable with your hair, let's see those pictures. Also wanted you guys to know I love y'all so much. The good outweighed the bad and I am forever grateful. Many people liked her new hair. Nothing wrong with starting over. It'll grow back or you can rock it short. I am so happy for you. The cut is cute. You can slay so many short styles. So glad you're back. You're just as beautiful with this style as you were with the ponytail. Unfortunately, things didn't end here with Gorilla Glue. Many people tested out the glue, and for some, it didn't end well. A man from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, didn't believe Tessica was serious about her situation and decided to try Gorilla Glue for himself. Len Martin posted on Facebook, trying to prove Gorilla Glue was not as strong as everyone believed. He showed himself lining the rim of a red Solo cup with the adhesive before sticking the cup to his lips. Unfortunately, the Gorilla Glue proved to be just as strong as Tessica claimed, and Len found himself taking a trip to the ER. Len told the New York Post, I thought I could lick it off, kind of to moisten it and pull it right off, but that didn't work. This is definitely not one to try. Let's just stop this now. It's very harmful. Len shared photos of himself in the hospital with the cup stuck to his face. Twitter users were confused by Len's actions. The warning label on Gorilla Glue is getting longer by the day. Can't cure stupidity. Anyone who does this should be turned away by the ER. Another TikTok user named Avani Reyes also put Gorilla Glue in her hair. She posted a video of herself trying to comb her hair with the glue stuck in it. You guys, my hair will not comb. Y'all, I already tried what- Avani also posted a video of herself in the hospital waiting for the nurses. Y'all, I just got inside the hospital and I'm waiting for one of the nurses to come. They don't really know what to do. They're, they're confused. They don't know. My scalp is burning, so I hope they figure something out. People believe that Avani was doing this for clout. Not you wasting the nurses and doctors time during COVID. It's your fault doing this stuff for clout. It's not one else problem, but yours. Bruh, at this point, y'all just doing this to get money and it's not cute. While dealing with her Gorilla Glue situation, Avani posted she'd been receiving donations to her GoFundMe, including one donation as big as $3,000. I also just want to thank this person so much for donating $3,000. I definitely see the money. Thank you so much for 
for my Gorilla Glue situation. You guys know it's definitely been a journey with this freaking Gorilla Glue. It's been crazy, so thank you so much. A few days after posting about being in the hospital, Avani posted a TikTok showing that she had gotten the Gorilla Glue out of her hair. Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to come on here really quick and just let you guys know that I did get the Gorilla Glue out of my hair. You guys know I've been dealing with my Gorilla Glue situation. I just want to thank this product right here for helping the Gorilla Glue get out and thank you guys so After she got the glue out, her followers wondered if she would be returning the money from GoFundMe. However, no evidence of the GoFundMe exists and the person who had claimed they had donated $3,000 posted to their account that it had been a joke and that no money had been exchanged. I didn't give her money. It was all a joke and she knew that too. But you guys have no right to call me all these names. You don't know what goes on between closed doors. Please stop. In the same TikTok, Avani said the GoFundMe was a prank. It wasn't real. She never donated me $3,000. Again, I'm not a scammer. Nobody gave me money. It's unclear whether Avani's situation is real. And that's not all. A YouTuber named December Reed uploaded a video on February 10th trying to debunk the myth that Tessica couldn't get Gorilla Glue out of her hair. In the video, a woman sprayed Gorilla Glue onto her hair and combed it through. After letting it dry, the woman showed the Gorilla Glue didn't penetrate through the top layer of her hair and only coated the top. She then showed herself putting goof off on her hair and then showed herself brushing through the previously glued hair. Many commenters said Tessica's situation was different. It's water activated. Go ahead and add water, I dare you. Also, leave it there for 24 hours. Do this video again. She said she sprayed it and then she blow dried it afterwards. I didn't watch the whole video. You just sprayed it on. See if you get a different result. How about this? Do another video. After it being in your hair for a whole month, not even a month, one week, then tell us how it turns out. I look forward to it. But some people questioned if Tessica was being genuine. You literally debunked this whole case wide open, and some comments still believe the Gorilla Glue girl. Shaking my head, our society is f- I'm so sick of this. She is a grown woman, not a little girl. She should have known better. Gorilla Glue make glue, not hair products. Common sense just not common anymore. On February 24th, in an interview with James Charles, a reporter with The Hollywood Fix poked fun at Tessica. When asking James about what new hairstyles to expect from him, the reporter said, Well, I'm thinking something maybe with Gorilla Glue. James laughed, but said he was happy Tessica was able to get out of the situation. That poor girl, I'm so glad she got out of everything okay. She's back oh. to normal. After Tessica went through an absolute nightmare with Gorilla Glue, she discovered something that might save her life. On February 27th, Tessica's manager, Gina Rodriguez, told TMZ that Tessica was getting a mommy makeover, which includes a breast lift and implants. TMZ said Dr. Michael Obang was her pre-surgery consultant, and when examining her breasts earlier that week, he discovered a lump in each side of Tessica's breasts. TMZ also said Tessica had a mammogram, which confirmed the presence of masses. Tessica has already had surgery to remove them, and they are currently being tested for cancer. Tessica told TMZ that she felt everything that happened with Gorilla Glue was supposed to lead to this moment. People had similar reactions to Tessica. Everything happens for a reason. The Gorilla Glue thing saved her in some sense. The crazy thing is, without the glue fiasco, Tessica may have never had the money to get the breast enhancement that required the consult. Life is something. It's crazy how the universe will save you when you swear it's trying to hurt you. God is truly looking after her. So, what's the big issue? The difficulty of finding hair products for people who wear weaves. When people wear wigs, weaves, or other hair pieces, they may consider using glue as a method of keeping the hair tracks or other pieces in place. There are many ways to keep hair tracks and pieces in place. Some can be sewn in, some can be taped, but gluing is a common method. Gorilla Glue isn't typically used for hair. Instead, most people use medical grade adhesive. However, there are ways to keep your scalp and hair safe when applying the adhesive. One way is through hair masks. They can keep your scalp healthy, avoiding damage from the adhesive, which can be especially useful if someone is looking to wear a wig or a hairpiece long term. According to HairExtensionMagazine.com, there are two categories of putting in hair extensions in pieces, strand by strand and wefted panels. Strand by strand involves gluing in extensions one strand at a time. This can take up to six to 
eight hours. Weft extensions can also be glued in and are much quicker to apply. However, excessive sweating or using silicone or oil-based products can cause the extensions to slip because of the reaction to the glue. So you can see, medical grade glue is very common in the hair world. However, Gorilla Glue is not. It's worth noting the bottle that Tessica used does resemble a bottle of hairspray. And some people have said Tessica could have been confused because there is a product called Gorilla Snot, which is preferred by many to hold down unruly strays. And she may have thought the two were used for similar purposes. Tessica also could have been confused because the product she used before switching to Gorilla Glue was got to be glued, which has the word glue in the title. It's great that Tessica was able to salvage her hair. However, this story is a good reminder to always read warning labels and double check their products before using them, especially when the products are for personal care and hygiene. Do you think people will be more careful going forward? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. To keep up on all the tea, consider subscribing to the channel.